Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another Bioshock 2 playthrough. Last time we were over here, we took out a lot of things. We took out the Brute Splicer, Big Sister, and just a whole, whole ton of enemies. For Grace. Oh man, Sophia Lamb's got a message for me. I don't like this chick. She's always trying to attack me. And apparently she's working at Grace. Take me out. So we've got two enemies now. Two main enemies. But let's go ahead and try and find a way out of this place. So this is a place I gotta break through. I gotta use my my uh, shield dash. And I've got no fuel though. How am I supposed to do this? I'm trying to figure it out, guys. I'm a big daddy and I'm not able to break this. What kind of big daddy am I? Alright, let me go figure out where the fuel is and I'm gonna break through that door. First, let me see if there's any fuel over here. Why do I always search trash cans? I always search trash cans looking for like stuff. Because in this game, like, if you want to find ammo, weapons, health, they're always in trash cans. Apparently, people just throw them in trash cans here. Where's that fuel? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Ah, here it is. Yeah, there it is. Fuel station. I got filled up fuel. Alright, let's break through this. Boom! That was awesome. That was epic. This guy's gonna get some, too. It's a fortunate guy had to be in the way of my... He's getting, he's getting drilled. This person wants to get some owned. Now Gracie was Dead. on the top floor. All right. Get on up there and persuade her to give you that override <laughs> key. Dude, you can take out anybody with this drill. It's so powerful. I'm starting to feel like a like a real big daddy. I got the drill. I got the guns. Pretty much everything. I just need the rocket launcher, and I'm done. A walking tank after that. Okay, what's over here? I saw something shiny. Nice. Remote control dart. Hacking darts. Those are really useful. I gotta use them throughout the game. Hacking darts. <clears throat> oh man, this chick scared the heck out of me. She was just laying there and then she just popped up. I don't want any more surprises. I'm gonna slowly walk. Hopefully people won't end up jumping on me. It's easy to forget this game is a survival war game, but then you got moments like this where you're in a dark passageway and then you can tell it's a survival horror game again. It's this person. The splicers are everywhere. Oh, there's a safe. Safes are really hard to unlock. Because if you screw up, then... Yep, that's what happens. You get a security alert, and you got a bunch of security bots after you. Which I hate. You gotta watch out. Oh my god, we're the first one. So... I gotta watch out for these security bots the and these splicers. Up into the hotel family. He wants me so he can get to Eleanor. Tin Daddy feels no guilt. Tin Daddy security bots are still after me. Oh no! But we are the these security bots don't let up. Got 16 seconds to survive. 16 seconds, man. Security bot. Oh, there's a power to the people thing over there. I could use that to upgrade my guns. How am I supposed to get there though? One second left, and the security bots are gone. Get out of here, security bots. Splicers are hiding all over here in the darkness. Sweet. This kitchen had a lot of items. First aids and everything. So yeah, guys, what do you guys like? What do you guys think is the most, is the most terrifying game ever? Like, is it Slender? Is it Bioshock? If you say Bioshock, then, you know, how you... You can't be scared of this game. I mean, it's pretty creepy, but you're a big daddy for God's sake. So you can take out anything. But yeah, leave me a comment below. Tell me what you think is the most scary game ever. Scariest game you've ever played. For me, it has to be either Outlast or Dead Space. Both of those games were really good. Cool. But at least in Dead Space, you can put up a... Oh, man, she got me. But at least in Dead Space, you can put up a fight, whereas in Outlast, you're pretty much screwed because... They did a ton of damage, you know. Yeah. Die. I'm gonna slap her with my gun. Alright guys, so I'm about to die in Bioshock 2. Let me try and get some kills. There we go. Took out these two splicers. I'm gonna keep moving. Keep moving into Rapture. Deeper into Rapture. Let me buy some ammo first. I gotta get stocked up on some ammo. I don't wanna run out of bullets when I'm fighting a big daddy or a big sister. 
So like one time I was fighting a big sister and I ran out of bullets, I ran out of my drill fuel, and that was really tough because I had to try and defeat her without anything. But I was able to beat her. Uh oh. Let me take out this camera, I'm not a big fan of cameras. Man, I took it out and I still got a security alert. Okay, I'm gonna try and avoid these bots. Alright, All right, let's keep moving inside here. Nice, I got some beans. And some other stuff. Fine, Jin. So Grace Holloway really doesn't like me. She talks to so much so rock back up. Down under. She talks, she talks like one of those like black women from Mississippi who went into the Underground Railroad. Like Harriet Truman or whatever that chick what's name was. Harriet Tubman. Uh oh. Uh oh, Brute Spicer. Oh man, this guy's gonna kill me. We're trying to do a drill dash on him. I don't have any fuel left, that sucks. I'm just gonna beat him the old fashioned way. Smack him with drill. Yeah! I'm more alpha than you, man. Smack you with my drill. Okay. I like how they have cookies lying around this game. You can just eat cookies to heal your health. It's awesome. They also have something similar in Fallout 3, like you can go to places to get food and stuff. Alright, so the game has been saved. Let's keep moving. Let me check the bathtub. There might be something in there. Sweet. Some more 50 cal bullets. I'm gonna need them. If there's any more brute splicers, I'm definitely gonna need those bullets. Oh man, I hate this turret. Killed me. Those turrets are really tough, and you know I could hack them, but I just wanted to destroy that one. I'm not a big fan of turrets or security cameras. They're just lying all over the place. Bioshock one and two. Let me take out that turret right now. Find out where it is. <coughs> We're gonna get a revenge on that turret. Where are you at, turret? I've got my shotgun ready. Alright, I wonder what Grace Holloway has in store for me. I wonder if there's going to be like a ton of brute splicers when I come at, go out to meet her. Should be pretty intense. Sweet. Got some nice stuff. And some more first aids. But I'm broke, so I can only afford one. You spend money pretty fast in this game. Okay. Nice. Got some booze. Alright. I think I heard, heard some enemies over here. Grace's room is just up ahead. Now, she's been sending all manner of unkindness uh -oh. your way, so not I'm not particular camera. as to how you take that key away from her, but she's old. Oh, great. And his Splicer's grudge you was based on a misunderstanding. Die, Splicer. Okay, I'm, gonna look, I'm gonna let that thing calm down a little bit, and then I'm gonna go in there and try to hack it, or I can just destroy it. I'm not in the mood to hack this thing. It's getting destroyed. Man, Grace Holloway's got defenses set up pretty good. <clears throat> okay. I'm gonna see if there's any ammo or anything over here. No. Just keep on moving. For, for those of you guys who've played Bioshock, who's your favorite character in the game? Like, who's your favorite non-playable character? I kind of like Sinclair a lot, he's really interesting. Sandra Cohen was pretty cool too, but Andrew Ryan's number one. Look at all this place, man, equations. Supposed to be Eleanor's room. Yep, that's definitely Eleanor's room. And I got a new tonic, awesome. Okay, Grace Holloway, I hope you're ready, because I'm bringing some heat. I got my shotgun, I got all my weapons. You're going down. Before I do anything, let me figure out if there's any what, any ammo or first aids. I don't There's a first aid right here, but is there anything else? No. Look at all this, man. Is all this stuff's broken. Another journal. 
and house. She talks in such a somber tone. Baby, where are you? I turned my back and someone took you. It happened so quick. Okay, where is she hiding? I'm not even a half mama to you, girl. There we go. I found the button to her secret lair. This post of Dr. That wasn't too hard to find. Stand me down like it knows I'm ashamed. Okay. I've now I'm going to go in there and take her out. Mother Eleanor. Always trusted her with my it is switch. But I lost you. All right, I got to get the override key from Grace. I wonder if there's going to be choices choice to do. Oh, here we go. There she is. I know what you're here for. Go on, take it. I won't have you touching me. Dr. Lamb trusted me to care for her child. And I tried. But baby Eleanor disappeared. Yeah, I would not open the door to a big dad. see her walking with you. Looking wrong. And when I tried to hold her, you knocked me down. Ouch. Broke my jaw. Broke my jaw. So I'm ready, baby snatcher. Come on in. Is that what I am, a baby snatcher? Come on, Grace, you shouldn't be that mean. I'm just a big daddy, do my job. Alright. So I guess I could kill her, or I could leave her alive. Your call, friend. Grace I'm gonna... is unarmed, for what it's worth. I'm not gonna hurt her. I'm not most. I'm not much of a killer, so I'm not gonna do that. Plus, she could probably help me out later. <laughs> I won't kill her. You're a bigger man than I am, Chief. Maybe next time she'll think twice about pointing fingers before all the facts are in. Now, let's be on our way. Eleanor's waiting. All right. Yeah, I did the right thing. I like how there's choices in this game. I'm not much of a murderer. It's not the place I'm going to go to this game. Away? I didn't do it in the last boss shot game no too. I was a good guy technically. The cheek. No monster does that. No monster does that. A thinking man does that. A thinking man. Yep, that's what I am. I'm a thinking man. I guess. <laughs> I know that Dr. Lamb is no liar, but she's got to be wrong about you. Doesn't seem right now, letting you walk into that bushwhack waiting outside. I can't call off the family. But I can whisper a bit and improve your eyes. Yeah, how's she gonna help me? I got a new ally in this fight. Grace Holloway. These whirly birds are custom jobs by an old friend. I'm oh sweet, I got I some security do. boss, elite now. security bot. See, I told you, being a good guy pays dividends. Maybe not as much as a bad guy, because you don't get as much Adam from the little sisters you harvest. But overall, it's good. I'm gonna save the game real fast. Let me get this saved. Okay, we're all saved, ready to go. Let's keep moving into Rapture. Man, I got the bad. I got a bad feeling a big sister is gonna show up pretty soon. Whenever it's silent, I just get that feeling. I don't know why. It's kind of creepy. Have you guys ever played a Resident Evil 3? Resident Evil 3 gets chased by the tyrant. It's kind of the same thing in this game a little bit. You get chased by a big sister. Pretty frightening, honestly. Oh man, here we go. Take out this person's dead. Alright. Potato chips, nice. I like how you just grab potato chips and they heal your health. I'm not quite sure they do that in real life. Whenever I eat potato chips, I just feel fat. But apparently in this game, they're magical potato chips that make you feel good. Heal you. Nice, man. I'm a 50 cal is just shredding them apart. Alright, I'm going to make my way down this tunnel. I'm going to make my way down this tunnel. Oh, let me get this chick. She's dead. Is that another big daddy I hear? Man, where am I getting attacked from? What is going on? I just walked into a war zone. I think the big daddy's walking around killing stuff. And I got no first aids either. My health is low. Oh man, I've got low health. And I'm gonna have to take out a brute splicer. 
It was probably the worst condition to take one out. And there's a big daddy, but there's no little sister here, so no point in taking him out. Here we go. This guy gives me the creeps. Yeah, this could be a really dangerous battle. Can I take him out with low health? We're gonna find out. He's almost dead. Man. Come on, don't tell me I ran out of ammo. Wow! Wow, I can't believe it. I actually took out that brute splicer with barely any health and barely any ammo. That was impressive. You guys gotta gotta say that was impressive. Give me a like if you like that. I took that took out that guy. That guy is tough. If you played this game, he's really tough to beat. Come on. Yes. And this is start starting out to be a nice nice playthrough. I'm starting to get like hacks, kill that brute splicer. I finally got another first aid. A first aid can really help out. Alright, there's, there's absolutely no well, point in me sir, killing that big daddy, so I'm gonna stay away. To call you now. I don't wanna get in a fight with that big You've daddy. Done more than just spare my life. You've opened my eyes. I need to put a few questions That's to right. Dr. Grace Holloway should be helping me out now. I saved her life. By sparing Grace. Do you seek okay, let's to keep moving trust, through this place. A feeble ruse. Your crocodile tears may poison her with doubt, but I am not so easy on Crocodile mark. tears. I like her accent, it's so creepy. It's British, so British. Just take that override key and slot it into the control box in the ticket booth there. That'll open the gates. All right, let's go do that. Where is the control place that he's talking about? That's what I'm wondering. Oh, there we go. Nice. We finally made it our way out. That's awesome. We finally got the train working, and we're going to get out of Popper's Drop. Oh, sweet, guys. We made it to Siren Alley. That is awesome. Yeah, that was a really, that was pretty awesome, man. Grace Holloway, she was, she was, uh, she seemed pretty mean, but she was pretty cool. We got a new ally in the fight. So far, so good. I got learned a new skill, Drill Dash. So this game's going good so far. Hopefully, nothing bad happens. But I've got a feeling we're gonna run into some trouble. Beyond the ocean's creepy. Uh-oh. Oh man, is that a torpedo? So we got a crazy religious guy who's after us. Hear me, or oh, the murder lamb. Kid, God. come on, wake up mean? now. There you are. I thought you rode that torpedo into the grate hereafter. That was creepy. I'm in Dionysus Park now. Train cars man, that was intense. Leaking air. Shot torpedo Whole damn place is flooded and sealed. But there's a pumping station back there on Siren Alley. And I believe you could wow. jerry rig it to drain the We are the in the ocean out. again. That'd let you stroll Man, the right ocean inside. looks pretty cool. Get to those pumps and hurry. Okay. Back inside this pump. Look at how the ocean looks. It's so colorful. I wonder if this is how it really looks. All right, guys. I think that's enough for today. Um, I played a lot. So thanks for watching. If you have any, if you enjoyed this video, give me a like. And if you have any comments, just comment below. I'd appreciate a comment. Let me know what you think about this. And yeah, thanks a lot for watching again. This is Gamer Leader signing out.